Hi everyone, today I'm going to explain all about how the sim tracker works. The sim tracker shows you what all your sims are doing. So on a larger device you'll see the sim tracker just above where your sims needs are and above where it says the active tasks. So you click on that and it opens out and on a smaller device you'll see a little folder in a circle at the side of the screen. Click on this and it will open out the sim tracker. Also in there you'll see all your other information so it shows you your sims careers, hobbies and relationships because there isn't a tab at the bottom of the screen like there is on a larger device. I'm going to go back to the larger device now because everything else is exactly the same. So if we take a look at the sim tracker we can see a lot of things going on. Some of them are flashing with XP that means that the task is complete. So let's click on this sim here Justin. So now if we go to the sim tracker it shows that he's not doing anything. His suitcase is flashing though, that means we can send him to work. So I'm going to click on that and it says send Justin to work, so click yes. And off he goes to work. So now it appears saying at work. So the sim next to him, Marie, she's got a flashing suitcase and she also has a whistle, that means she's not here. So let's click on her, find out where she is. So she's currently at the arcade. And so is Natalie. So the house with the arrow button inside it sends your sim home. So we click on this and send Natalie home. So now it says leaving in her action box. So now it shows green on Marie. So this means we are controlling that sim currently. So the green sim is the one with the plumb bob above their head. So if you click on them on the sim tracker, you will be controlling that sim. So we wait for her to leave. Now we scroll down. So there's a load of actions that have been completed. Some sims who aren't doing anything at all and some sims who are busy. Now Maria's left, it shows the suitcase again because we can send her to work and also the whistle because she isn't here. So let's find a sim completing the cooking hobby. So if we click on them and they can complete this task, so it's currently flashing but when they complete it, like so, it will show just a house with the arrow button so we can send them home or we can put them on to complete another task, which we're going to do. So we're going to go back to the stove and select cooking. Cheese on toast. And then it shows the action as cooking and it's not complete yet. As the time for the action passes, the bar will fill up with the blue line. Once the blue line is full, the action is complete and it will flash with the XP. So one thing I get asked a lot is, how do I send a sim to the park? It's very simple, all you need to do is go to the park and then you need a free sim for this, so one who's not doing anything. Open the sim tracker and then click on the whistle that appears on that sim to bring them to the park. And it's as easy as that. We're gonna send Marie back home. So we're just gonna click on the sim tracker again and click on the house with the arrow button to send her back home. One last thing to mention about the sim tracker, once you've completed the Life Dreams and Legacies quest, a line will appear around your sim's head on the sim tracker. This is ageing. So you can see on here a green line that appears around my sim. Once that green line fills up the circle, it will turn red and your sim will age to the next life stage. You may have noticed some of my circles are grey, this means my sim is paused at that life stage. I do have posts and videos available about the ageing process if you want more information as I want to keep this one relevant to the sim tracker. And there's also another circle that appears if your sims are pregnant. Pregnancy unlocks when you complete the A Bumpy Ride Discovery Quest. Again I have a lot of videos and posts available for that as well. And that is everything you need to know about the sim tracker. If you found this video helpful please like it and please subscribe to my channel. I regularly post Sims free play videos, I also have a blog thegirlgames.blog and on there you can find loads of posts and tips and tricks about the Sims free play. Thanks for watching, bye!